because we're doing the same thing here, we could copy this stuff down because the rate will be the same and the payroll will be the same. But we're going to go through the calculations a few more times because this is where we really want to focus in on these calculations of payroll. So then we're going to say the overtime pay will equal the three hours times the 37.5 G19 times H19 tab. Total earnings then are going to be the regular pay plus overtime. So total earnings equals the regular pay plus the overtime. And that'll give us the uh, 418750. Now we got to go to the other types of earnings uh, and see if we hit the cap. It would differ if we hit these caps. Now I'm not worried about hitting the cap here. This employee is not going to get up to the 128,400, but we do have to worry about FUTA and SUTA. So in other words, the OESTI or Social Security wages equals the same number. Remember that the OASDI could differ from total earnings in a case where we have a pre-tax item such as if the group insurance was a qualified cafeteria plan which would be a section 125 plan in this case we're saying the group insurance is not a section 125 plan and therefore will not be uh, reducing the fit income federal income tax social security or medicare it will however be a post tax deduction and calculated in the calculation of net income now the futa Although this number is under 7,000, we have to go to the earnings records, the year-to-date earnings, to see if this employee has already met that, that FUTA cap. To do that, we would go all the way over here, scroll back up, and we're looking for Anthony Moore has earned over 7,000. In other words, if we go to the FUTA, it's already been completed.